Congratulations on your purchase of the new RAISE 3D DF2 3D printer. You will receive boxes that correspond to a RAISE 3D DF2 3D printer, an auto feeding station, and a finish box. In this video, we will cover the complete unpacking and installation process to help you quickly start using your new 3D printer. To unpack the printer safely, you will need a pair of scissors or a utility knife. Ok, let's get started. When you receive your RAISE 3D DF2 3D printer, place it in an open area, and keep a separation distance of 50 cm around the box for unpacking. First, cut the packing straps. Next, cut the packing tape along the top of the box. Then open the box. Remove all the cardboard spacers. Remove the cardboard. Take out the RAISE 3D DF2 3D printer quick start guide, and carefully store it for future reference. There is a power cord matching your local standard. You can check the power cord by looking at the label on the side of the box. Different countries or regions will receive different standards of power cords. Take out the power cord, and set it aside for later use to power up the printer. Take out the toolbox, and carefully store it for future operations. Remove the styrofoam. Remove all the cardboard spacers. We recommend having a second person to help you remove the cardboard box. Remove the protective bag. We recommend having a second person to help you. Together, lift the printer out of the foam padding. Carefully place it in an open area for future installation. When you receive your auto feeding station, place it in an open area. Cut the packing tape along the top of the box. Open the box. Take out the RAISE 3D DF2 Auto Feeding Station User Guide, and carefully store it for future reference. There is a pump, two resin container caps with straws, and two feeding hoses on the first layer of foam padding. Take out the first layer of foam padding, and store it for later use. There are two resin container holders, two pump hoses, two feeding hoses, a connection cable, six pump hose securing clips, and two resin feeding tube sealing caps on the second layer of foam padding. Take out the second layer of foam padding, and store it for later use. Take out the main body of the auto feeding station from the third layer of foam padding. Carefully place the main body of the auto feeding station in an open area. Remove all the tape. And remove all the transport fixing blocks. Prepare all the components shown in the video. Remove the pump cover. Pinch the pump buckles inwards, and remove the pump. The pump hose, should be connected to the left hose barb on the pump, ensuring that it is fully inserted. And the feeding hose, should be connected to the right hose barb on the pump, ensuring that it is fully inserted. Place the pump into the slot, and keep the outlet of the pump parallel to the side of the supporting platform. Place your finger in the position shown in the video to press the pump. To install the pump in place, gently apply pressure downward until a click is heard. Reinstall the pump cover. Select a resin container holder matching the resin container, and insert it into the holder hole. Replace the original resin container cap with the resin container cap with straw.
Connect the pump hose to the barb on top of the resin container cap with straw. Slide the resin container into the holder and place it onto the supporting platform. Install the three pump hose securing clips onto the container holder. Route the pump hose and secure it with the other end of the clips. Secure the feeding hose into the feeding hose securing clip on the base. Insert the other end of the feeding hose into the barb on the resin feeding tube, ensuring that it is fully inserted. Install the connection cable to the connection port on the base and tighten it. Assembly of the auto feeding station is complete. Place the auto feeding station next to the printer. Insert the resin feeding tube into the hole for the resin feeding tube on the back of the printer and align it with the pouring spout of the resin tank. Connect the other end of the connection cable to the connection port on the back of the printer and tighten it. The auto feeding station is now completely integrated with the printer. Plug one end of the power cord into the power socket on the back of the printer and plug the other end of the power cord into the power source. Flip the power switch to power on the printer. The printer will enter the boot process. Following the steps of the startup wizard, complete the initial setup for your RAISE 3D DF2 3D printer. If you need to manually clean the printed model, place the finish box in an open area. Cut the packing tape along the top of the box. There are two washing boxes, a washing basket, a washing box cover, an alcohol spray bottle. Take out the finished box and carefully store it for future operations. Congratulations! You have finished the guide. Your RAISE 3D DF2 3D printer will automatically go through all the steps needed to create a high-precision 3D print. For additional inquiries or technical support, please visit www.raise3d.com or contact RAISE 3D customer service at support at raise3d.com.